Hello. Today, let's draw a regular octagon given the length of one of its sides, L. The first thing we are going to do is to draw a horizontal straight line at the bottom of our screen. On this line, we will mark a point A, which will be the first vertex of our octagon. Now we are going to transport the given length, L, on the top of our screen onto our previously drawn horizontal line. With our compass set on point A, we scribe this length and where it cuts the line, we will call this point B, as can be seen here in the video. Now we have the first side of our octagon located. The next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. To do this, I remind you, we must draw two arcs with the same radiuses. These radiuses must be longer than half of the line segment AB, as shown here in the video. These two arcs intersect at two points. The perpendicular bisector is the line which passes through these two points and cuts the line segment AB at its midpoint, which we will call M. So, the next step is, with our compass centered on midpoint M and radius MA, we will scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the perpendicular bisector at a point we will call N. Now, with our compass centered on point N and radius NA, we will scribe another arc to the right until it cuts the perpendicular bisector again at a point which we will call O or zero. This point O will be the center of the circumference where the octagon we are looking to draw is. So now with our compass centered on point O we will draw the circumference with radius OA or OB as it will pass through both of these points if everything has been drawn accurately up to this point. We are close to finishing the exercise. The last step we need to do is set our compass to the length L, our side AB, and scribe seven arcs onto our previously drawn circumference, as can be seen here in the video. So here we scribe our first arc. And our next one. And can we scribe our next arc? Describe our next arc again. Describe our second last arc. I remind you to be as accurate as possible, placing the compass exactly on each point. Okay, and finally, our arc should cut exactly with point A if we are working with precision. Possible reasons that you don't cut the point A exactly, maybe you have lost precision because of the pencil of your compass is not well sharpened or bad quality instruments. Now we have the eight vertices of our octagon, which we will name A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. And the only thing left to do is to join these vertices. So now we will join point B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, vertex F to G, and 
G2H. And finally, we will close our octagon by joining H2A. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much. See you in our next video. Click like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.